Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So today I've been back to Lidl for a change. I haven't shopped in there for a full weekly shop for a really long time, but I do like to vary my supermarkets so that it gives you guys an idea of the best value items in the best value shops and what's available across all the different supermarkets that I visit. I'll put every price up on screen as I go as I know that can be helpful and it gives you the opportunity to compare the prices of your supermarkets and work out where you want to do your shopping for the best value. I've also got a few bits that I want to pop in from B&M. I went in there yesterday just for what I call B&M bits. So I'll pop those in now and then I'll show you what I got in Lidl. So just a few bits and pieces from B&M. It's just one of those shops that you go in and find all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. So I got some sugar-free jelly. Each one of these makes up four jellies and so you get eight for a pound basically. Um, which is a lot better than the six for three pound fifty that my husband bought me. I will let it go, I promise. But I'm just saying it's much cheaper to make your own in little yogurt pots. So I got strawberry, raspberry, and orange. I got some of the OGX coconut milk shampoo. This was four ninety nine for five hundred and seventy seven mil. And apparently OGX do not put anything in their shampoo that makes your hair fall out, contrary to what people um, have believed for a long time. I don't know if they did, and they've changed the formula. But apparently now you're safe to buy it. So I bought some of that because it smells amazing. I got a deodorant. This is 300 ml and it lasts all day. Well, according to my husband and my boys, it's a really good one. This was £2.50. I got some burger gherkins, which were 159. They're just much easier when they're already sliced. I got some Belvita breakfast biscuits. There's five of the chocolate hazelnut topped ones in here. Um, you get three biscuits in each pack and there's five packs. They were £1.25. And then I got two boxes of these Galaxy Triple Treats. So apparently they're over 75% fruit and nut. They're high in fibre. And they're usually about £2, £2.50 a box. And they were a pound. So I've got two of those. A lime juice, because I use it on salads and in sauces and marinades and things. That was 49p. Cream of chicken soup. I use this for sauces. And that was 69p. Kenko Milicano, this is the really big one, it's 170 grams and it's £5.79 and you cannot get it that price in the supermarket. So I'm at Mini Cheddar's and the lady at the checkout was like, I've got to get me some of these. They're banging cheeseburger flavour and they were £1 for six packets. And I got two lots of the Maryland Mini Cookies, so you get six little bags in here. And these are the chocolate orange, and these ones are birthday cake flavour, and they were 89p each. I thought that was a really good price. Instant noodles, I got two lots of the spicy stir fry flavour, two lots of chicken curry, and they also had some oriental style beef ones, which they don't always have in, so I got those. These are 35p each, and they're really, really tasty. Chew it's five packets for a pound. They're a really good sweet treat because they're individually portioned and they're only like about 115 calories per tube. And then I've got some of these Skittles Squishy Clouds. So it's recommended retail price a pound. And these are slightly smaller than your like bigger bags, obviously. Um, these are 70 grams and the bigger ones are 94, but these were 50p each. So I thought that was a pretty good price. So you end up paying a pound for 140 grams, whereas you'd normally pay a pound for 90 something grams. So get a bit extra that way around, and they're a little bit smaller portioned as well, which is good. Then I got a measuring jug because I was making my jelly this morning, and I cannot see the markings because I've got an old one um, that was sort of rubbing off. So at least this one is on the outside, and it's not going to wear off, and I can actually see what I'm doing. That was 199. And then I got two of these glass canisters with like the bamboo pop-off lids and they're airtight and I thought these would be ideal for overnight oats and like Weetabix cheesecakes and things to prepare our breakfast and pop them in the fridge and I think for £2 that's a very good price. So that is everything I got in B&M, just thought I'd pop it in and show you the bargains that I found. So that was everything I got in B&M and now I'll show you what I got in Lidl. So we'll start off with some mushrooms. This is a big family pack. I got some of the green grapes, which were on a good offer. I got a big butternut squash. I'm going to be making some butternut squash salads. And I wanted some roasted, well, I wanted some sprouts to roast, but they didn't have any, so I'll have to make do. I got some broccoli. Again, you get two heads in here, which I think was quite a good price, really. Some bananas and some spring onions. These are like massive spring onions. Some normal white onions. 
I've got one iceberg lettuce because I have got like most of a lettuce left in the fridge as well. Sweet mixed peppers, they didn't do their like wonky bag like Aldi do but I got these instead. Some jazz apples because they are like our second choice over Pink Lady and I think these are 189 and the Pink Ladies are like 269 So I've got two lots of those. I've got some munch too, I'm going to be making a sort of ramen stir fry. Some ripen at home kiwis. Cherry tomatoes, this is quite a big pack actually. And I've got some uh, fresh cut coriander, some British white potatoes, and then I got a cauliflower. I also got some frozen broccoli and cauliflower, but I just wanted to restock up on our veg. So I'm gonna be doing cauliflower, like spiced cauliflower wraps, because that's one of our favorites. And then I got some chicken breasts, these are massive packs. These are two kilos each, and they worked out the best value. They were under six pound a kilo. We do eat chicken for lunches, and my boys are really into working out and going to the gym. They eat a lot of chicken as well. I was actually thinking, this is completely off topic, but if you're an original watcher and you've been like watching this channel from the beginning, you might remember like, I can't believe the difference in my children from when I started this channel to now. I mean, I don't think any of you would recognize them now. Gone are the little boys that used to play around in hot tubs and ride on their scooters and let me film them like, reading bedtime stories and things and in such a short space of time they're now like men they tower over me oscar's now 12 and he'll be going into year nine in september jake is going to be 16 in a few weeks and he's finishing school in a few weeks and he'll be going off doing whatever he's doing and then bailey is going to be 18 this year and he works he's got an apprenticeship he goes to college they're just like men compared to, I just thought, like, if you've watched from the beginning, obviously those vlogs are now private because um, the children that grew into teenagers don't want those out there, but it's lovely to have them for our memories. Even the one, even our Florida vlogs, I promise I'll get back to the haul in a minute, but even our Florida vlogs from like 2019, they're so different now. They are not the same children at all. And I'm just like, oh, it goes so quick. Anyway, back to the shopping haul. I'm going to portion these up and I'll um, put them in freezer bags and then I'll season them, cook them up and feed the boys their protein. Sorry for that little ramble down memory lane. I've got some chicken steaks. I'm going to put these in some wraps. I make kind of like, well, chicken wraps really, like a Nando style thing. So I'm frozen broccoli and cauliflower just as a backup so I've got loads of veg. I've got some of these chicken bakes which were £1.15 for two so they're actually cheaper than buying their like refrigerated version and they're so much nicer if you bake them and eat them fresh so I got some of those. I got some whole tail scampi in an oat crumb coating this is one of our favourite scampies it tastes just like the ones you get when you eat out. <laughs> Two bags of Homestyle chips, these are really nice, it says extra crunchy and they are and they're actually proper chips not like little bits. And I also got some fish fingers to make like fish finger sandwiches or something. I've got two packets of long grain microwavable rice for lunches and a big bag of pasta, this is a kilo. I also got some long grain rice because I'm almost out of that. Two tins of peeled plum tomatoes. I've got a pasta bake, a tomato and bacon one. Well, I've got some tuna in the fridge. I might make like a tuna in the fridge. No, I've got some tuna in the cupboard. So I might make like a tuna pasta bake. I've got some more spices. So I've got sage, Cajun seasoning and basil just to top up on those. I got four lots of cottage cheese. I absolutely love cottage cheese and I find Lidl is the best one. I'm not sure if it's the Simply one or if it's the other make that they do, the Milbona one. But anyway, I got some of this. Um, the price of this in Sainsbury's, when I was looking at doing an online Sainsbury's order, I'll pop up how much this is, but I think it's like 79 or 89p. And Sainsbury's was like £1.89, I'm sure it was, for the same size. So I got these. What I'm actually going to be making is I'm going to be prepping some breakfast and I'm going to be making some of these Starbucks egg bites. Don't know if you've seen them or tried them. They're basically like the things I used to make where you mix together like egg, cottage cheese and put your fillings in, bake them in the oven and then you get these like little mini, they're kind of like crustless quiches. They've been around forever. I think Starbucks have just like jumped on the bandwagon and renamed them so everyone's going mad for them. They're nothing new but I'm going to make some of those because they're really handy to prep and have like to grab and go and you can freeze them so that will be coming up in a video shortly so over here i got some cheese strings 
and some mini pepperonis. I also got some refrigerators. You only get five packets in here instead of six, but it works out a little bit cheaper anyway. I got some of these salt and pepper chicken chipolatas. We actually really like these in omelettes for breakfast at the weekend, but we also like them chopped up in salads and things, um, and they're really, really good. And then I got some of these pork chipolatas as well because these were down to £2.79 from £3.99 and there's 20 in there so we can have those one day. I got some oak smoked ham, this is like 99% ham, no added water. Some of the Milbona protein yogurts, these are, I know I'm going to put prices on the screen but these are actually 85p which is um, similar to the Aldi ones. So I got raspberry and pomegranate, I got strawberry and I got blueberry. Then I got some of these milk desserts, four little pots of those. They are little as well, aren't they? They're like tiny. I got four pints of semi-skimmed milk. We had no milk this morning and there was drama, I will tell you. Pickled gherkins and some pickled beetroot because this just goes so good in salads. I got a tomato ketchup. There was this one and then there was Heinz. I'll put up however much this one was. Heinz was £3.99. How can they charge £3.99 for ketchup? Crazy prices. I got some tomato passata, some free range eggs. I got eight tortilla wraps. And I don't know if it's just me, but they just looked smaller than they normally are. I don't know, maybe not, but wouldn't put it past them to have shrunk them down. <laughs> sneaky supermarkets i got some oat milk i got three of those because like i said i'm not going through milk gate again when they've already poured their cereal and there's no milk and blah 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 so i make make sure we're stocked up on milk i got some dog treats a loaf of bread for my mum she's not feeling very well so i'm going to drop that in and i also got her three little bunches of daffodils to um cheer her up because she loves daffodils and i love daffodils it's a little slimy bit on there Oh, now I've touched it and wished I hadn't. Okay, I'm, I'm preempting summer, okay? But I got a set of these diving balls and one of these satin flying discs that you can use in like a pool or on the beach. And the only reason I got them now is because whenever it comes around to the time I want this kind of thing, they never have them in. And I was like, just get them, put them away, and then you won't be that person that's spending a fortune when you want them and you can't get them. So these have got like things on the wall where you can throw them into a pool and then you can dive down and get them. And this is like a frisbee with a, a ball in the middle. I don't know. They will viciously throw that at each other and probably these two, to be honest. They won't use them for what they're supposed to, but then that's boys for you. So I've got some of those. I've got some crunchy French fries. A sweet and spicy sauce. This is very similar to the one that I buy from Aldi. Some double strength summer fruit squash and some balsamic vinegar. I've got a little hand wash to top up my dispenser in the kitchen. Some face wipes. I, I use cleanser. I don't use, like I've got a foaming cleanser. But sometimes when I mess up with my makeup, it's handy to have a face wipe because... If you get makeup like on your eyelid or something, you can't get it off. So I have those. And these are really, really cheap, actually. I know that I did mention the Aldi like makeup dupes that I put in a, one of my hauls a couple of weeks ago. Where I got like the dupe of the Benefit Mascara, um, the Benefit like eyebrow pencil and the Vitamin C Serum. I actually went back and repurchased the Vitamin C Serum and the eyebrow pencil because... The eyebrow pencil itself was amazing. It was so good. I can't say whether it compares to the Benefit one because I don't actually use that. I found it really, really good for the price. I think it was like £3, £3.49. So I went and got another one of those. The Vitamin C Serum is lovely. It smells of oranges and it leaves your skin glowing. But the mascara, I'm not a fan of. It does go on nicely. It's supposed to be like Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. It goes on nicely. But it leaves so much residue on your eyelids and it, you just can't wear it. Like, I wear it and then within, within like five minutes, it's all over, like transferred onto my eyelids. And also, it is a nightmare to get off, even with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, which gets anything off. But the other two products, yeah, I really recommend. Anyway, just in case, I did say I'd let you know if anyone was wondering. And then I also got some of these fridge organisers. I got two. 
I did look at these in B&M, um, I think these are £3.50 for two, but I've got like several different cheeses open and it's annoying that they're all over the fridge and I want like my cheese spread, my soft cheese, my cheeses all in one and then the other one I thought I could put like the cheese strings and the pepperamis and the fridge raiders kind of in the other, I don't know, but I just, I like organising stuff so I've got those as well. So I actually spent £124 in total which I don't think it was too bad considering how much I got really. I'm quite impressed if you think that I got like two massive packs, I think I got four kilos of chicken. The pool toys, I got like the organisers, I got the flowers. I don't think I did too badly, quite a lot of fresh fruit and veg. So £124, that feeds me, my husband and our three boys. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and it's helped you out in any way or you enjoy this kind of thing, please leave me a like. Make sure you share and subscribe if you're not already. I do one of these videos every single week and I also do meals of the week and recipe videos and all that kind of thing. So that is it from me and I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too